happened? Oh. Once again, open your eyes and behold. What is that? Let's go. Quit playing with me. <laughs> Y'all almost came on this video talking crazy, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I took a little breather. Be back on Black Myth. This is episode six. I almost came on this video and said, welcome back, pieces of shit. I didn't mean, but I, didn't, I wouldn't have been talking about you. I'd have just been talking about, I don't even know, but that's hilarious. All right, so I gotta remember the buttons. I haven't played it in just like two days. Okay, so last time we came through here, I know we're gonna fight that dude. Just give me a minute. Can I, can I be stress-free for like a goddamn minute, please? I gotta get warmed up, bro. You gotta get warmed up before you get that ass whooping you about to get. Don't just jump into the ass whooping, get warmed up. All right, it's so a little rat. Y'all rat cousin was down that way. All right, we've not been down here. Oh, you, that that guy, I, I talked about him. If y'all didn't see my first impressions video, it's in the playlist, you guys can watch it. Uh, you might like it, you might not. Wait, I was down here before, right? I was down here before. Oh man, maybe. <coughs> I'm here, little monkey. Oh. Let me hear my rattle drum. What? When the dust stops, my cough ends. <laughs> I know you're not from round here. Don't frown like that. Our village is fun. I know an old man in the stone. And he steals all the drinks. And at the bottom of that well. That's a secret. Yeah, bro, we were definitely here before. That chest is open. I remember that. I think from last episode. I don't know what's going on over here. Um, you're playing instruments and shit. But uh, I thought whole time, whole time, I'm thinking this is a Japanese game. Thank y'all for clearing that up. Only thing is, I was too late. I said, I said that shit. I don't even know how many times I said Japanese, bro. It was a lot. It was a whole lot. But yeah, the first impressions video. We're gonna to try to do a little bit more of those if we can. Check those out. Now, how many times you gonna miss? What was, okay, now, now, now that's a bug. Now that, that's a bug. That is a bug. And he has all his HP back. I was where and, and he was worth 275 that time. 
I was here, but this this spot looked a little different. Or at least I thought it did. It, it feels... I don't know. And then I fought that Taoist over there. Let's keep going this way because obviously this section has to be slightly different because we had used that um, little attachment on that statue to come over here. So hopefully, hopefully this is different. I could be wrong though. Maybe it's not. No, oh, it's not. It's the same spot. It's really odd. Huh. Something's off. Maybe, maybe I'm like, I'm, I'm losing my mind. That's what's going on. All right. So the deal with that drum, first of all, we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to continue that because we got to go to two more places and then we'll get another one of those little drum, little kind of voice things about the little boy. And then we'll get a secret boss. There's still like, this is a whole nother secret area. And then like two or three more secret bosses in this chapter, bro. Hey, th this chapter is packed. Oh my God. All right. So we need. Uh, we're doing basically two side missions at once. Okay, he needed a Jade Lotus. We already have a Jade Lotus. Make sure we... Uh, we don't have any mine cores. We can buy some mine cores. Uh, okay. We're going to do two things. We're going to do them a little bit out of order, though. So, do you know I mean? Keep that, keep that in mind. Boar should be okay. Oh, I don't know what that is. Boar is supposed to be here, no? Oh, here he is. Oh, this putrid rat meat is insufferable. Help me score a tasty treat, will you? Oh, it drives me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? There you go. I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There. They held rats above all others. Mm. And somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Mm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Mm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. A senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. <sighs> it's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm. I just tried those rat its people are not yet. Okay. A senior brother gave All right, so this is this is the other so we're going to do uh do two side quests. Um we got to take that and drop that off. We'll do that in a second. Um, and we're going to fight that Sage win. I don't want to, but I think we have to. So if you want to jump ahead in the video, hit the chapters. Uh, every time I fight a boss, I have them. I do a chapter, a timestamp. So you can jump to that part of the video. So you don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing if you don't want to. All right. Um. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the Valley of Despair now. Open the big gate in the King of the Flowing Sands boss arena. Use a sternness. Head down the stairs, turn right through the ruined house into a little clearing. 
but we did that already. All right, so we did that one. When rest ha Hamlet. And the way this game is, you could easily um, not know there's certain like secrets and shit on here. So I suggest if you're really trying to play the game, if you're going for achievements, or even if you're not, you're just trying to get the most out of it. Every chapter, I'm, I must suggest y'all look up um, like the chapter secrets, not like a full walkthrough, but like there's there's stuff on here. Into the village until you arrive at the gate where the three imperial guard river jump down to attack you before going through the gate, head right to the court. Okay, got it. I'm not fighting him. Leave me alone. Oh, wait. Wait, which way? Was it back this way? I'm trying to remember where those three guys jumped down on us when we had to fight them. They were right in the front of there, I think. I think. And they, yeah, they were, they were on top of this right here. All right, there's a courtyard over here they're talking about. <coughs> there it is. <coughs> I'm here, little monkey. Let me hear my rattle drum. All right, there's one more location. Did you see him? I was scared. They were all around me. They told me that I passed the people from the village and fed them to the That's a lie. That's not my part. I woke up. All right, so this is number two, and then we're going to go to Sandgate Village. So once you go to these three places, unfortunately for me, you unlock uh, a new boss. So basically, when we were in chapter one, we fought a boss, beat him, but then we fought a souped up version of him. Yeah, that's what we're about to do again. That damn tiger. We're about to fight that guy again, but he's going to be souped up. The tiger was already a bitch. Sandgate Village. Find location. Earth Wolf Pod. Okay, I remember that guy. Okay. Not happy. I'm scared. Hold me. I. <laughs> Remember these guys? Remember there were like three of them? I opened up that gate and they just socked me. Took my life. I'll be happy when I go to the next chapter. I need to change the scenery. King's gift is gone. Okay, what's this over here? A whale with corpses. not supposed to go that way. I've never been back here though. Oh. First chapter, we had to ring three bells for a secret boss. Second chapter, you have to get this little drum thing. Huh? How did you even know I was here? Just Pa and I know of this place. 
don't tell anyone, but I have a friend in this world. He can help me with my coughing fit. It's been so long. I hope his wounds have healed too. Back here before we do that. Let's grab this. Vengeance. The kid's dad ran off, but now you've shown up to me. Uh, we did not have a good time fighting him last time. That is so much of my health. my first time out of heat oh my God. we gotta get off this chapter in this episode even if it takes two hours i've been on chapter two too long there better be something nice down here for doing this oh hey cool Uh, maybe need to make some medicine. <laughs> How can you make your name? watch somebody on some of these games like the speed runners i'm talking about the people that are like the people who who are what most gamers think they are which are god gamers i'm talking about those the, like the actual people and i'm not talking about the people that necessarily do like glitches even though they're good at the games obviously i'm talking about the dudes that just do this shit you watch them like i seen it dude bro he did he played elder ring he took no damage bro he was so calm when he was dodging. I wish I, I wish I had that that type of poise, bro. But I don't. When they do them slow ass attacks, like I, I can't, I'm just not patient enough. So he buries, he buries his hands and then that's when he does that. Damn it. 
He was gonna be way harder than the um the original tiger. But he had a whole different moveset. That wasn't even the same guy. Okay. Awesome. W's. What do we get? What do you did we, what do we get, loves? Blood of the Iron Bull. Mad Tiger Spirit. Where is it? Let's try that one. <clears throat> okay, so we need to go back to... Why can't I remember? Everybody's uh, over the years has, has gotten used to um, playing games where the enemy has an indicator above their head or some shit right before they go to hit you, and it makes it ten times easier to play the game because you always know when the enemy's attacking, and then when they're getting ready to do an attack that you can't block or parry, it's like red or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we're used to. They don't do that for you in here, like. All right, here's go do his brother right here. This is the other part of that sack quest. Yo, that's crazy damage. I'm glad I did that. Powder yourself. <laughs> what an excellent fight! The intensity. <laughs> This is good. You and I should explore that realm together. A whole nother area. Any sparks in a minute? Don't don't worry. Huh? 
Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own ends. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Gwai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the Tongue Monk using the new power, and battled with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Gwai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Lingji, Tongue Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Shout out to my man, uh, John, for sending me the lore video. I'm going to watch it. All right, Let's see where this goes. We still have a couple. We still got quite a few boss fights before we get out of this chapter, so. Hang tight, boys. Let's go ahead and use our, our uh, sparks. We got four. We're still. Okay, I don't want that yet. We got that whole thing. We're working over here. We're working on these ones. Although, I mean, you can't go wrong with mana. You really can't. Let's 50. Like I was, I was playing with those ones. Now that's a big deal. Significant damage reduction during light attack finishers. Hmm. Chatter. <sighs> like, I don't know where that's what I mean, man. There's so much shit on here. I want to I want to have it all but you can't you traveler back to where you belong or meet your end here I like the this about it. you scorn my words how have you served to the king's dinner <sighs> tiger vanguard again huh oh, he's just like the other one He's just like the other one. Oh. 
really. Okay, he's different. in the, uh, the original. I yield! I yield, brother! Such fierce staff work. You wield grand might. <laughs> Brave soul, why not use this might to aid my king's good deed? I yield, sir. I yield. The king comes from Mount Lingshan. His kind heart seeks to end the place's suffering. The Yaogwai's skills run deep, yet with your help, our chances will be doubled. All right, man. If this was Elden Ring, they would have given me the option to kill you, Nutted. Kingdom of Sahali. Kingdom of Sahali. See Kung Fu Panda or somebody sitting up on that ledge over there. You see him? And I had a horn or something that we earned, right? Uh, inflicts considerably more damage bonus on enemies at critical For a short duration after using the horn, moderately increases. Uh, you gotta kind of use that board a lot for that. I see the difference. Oh yeah. What the one time do? I don't need that. I'm hoping that we get another uh, slot right there, so I can use three or four items instead of those just those two. You bested my vanguard. <laughs> then you do indeed have skills. That Yao Guai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. <sighs> there is only one way to draw out this Yao Guai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then the Yao Guai will be mine. I just want to send me up here to do y'all dirty work. I got to fight that big ass motherfucker over there because of y'all. Yeah. 
at the western end of the world. Each day, the sun sets and boils the sea. The boiling hiss is sharp enough to ravage babies in their cradles. The people sound drums to counter the impact, but the drums draw this Yao Guai. The vessel this Yao Guai holds protects it from me. Your boldness in venturing here is clear. Aid me with this. It's right here beneath us in the... You saying aid you. you need, this is not aid. This is you making me fight this big ass guy. You just want me to just walk down there? Because I, I can do that. Is, is the, I mean, that's really far though. Alright. I better get something nice for this fight. Because I, I... I think we're going to be here for a minute. I'm going to be honest with you. This guy... Oh, good. We're sliding. It looks pretty serious, though. Oh, and you're one of those, huh? What's the sound? The beetle's coming! damage from one hit. move on the bright side he's letting my uh move aside damn that man that shit bro come on don't keep doing that weak ass move, bro. Beats. That one will not get away. See, is that free free damage? Free damage? Seize the vessel! Ow! Ow! What am I? And I'm stuck! Bro, I'm stuck. Black man! I'm stuck! Man! Look at that shit, dude. Ain't no way. Alright. I had to do that to get out. Top of this. On some real shit, guys. I'm not even joking. How do I get up there? Uh, never mind. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing, bro. Don't say nothing. Now. Join 
you. I'll be a stupid ass get killed. Now, seize them. Guys, just good or something. No one would fear you. I take back everything I said about shit, man. He liked that. I take back everything I said. Big bro, I don't want to fight him. Please don't ever make me fight this guy. Please. On the folks' behalf, I thank you. Oh, thank you for the free XP and for helping me out in that second phase of that fight. It was much, much easier with somebody like that on my side. I respect him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? He, yeah. It's rare you get some help like that. There's only a couple games where you, the people actually help. I like the, the monkey helpers. I need to upgrade them. If I could upgrade them and have a mobilize and a lot of men, I think I could do some crazy damage to people. I got kicked out of the realm. Wind tamer vessel. High person here. Ah, 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 oh, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm just delaying the inevitable, huh? Hmm. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was that guy. Wow, perfect dodging recovers a small. Okay. New vessel. I'm putting that wind tamer on so I can fight that guy. That might be just the, the, the boost we need. We love you, God. All right, there was a um a waterfall that I could not get past. I think it's right up that hill. I'm gonna look up how to get past that waterfall. Over there. Once we're done with all of that, we're gonna go and fight that say, wind sage, and then we're gonna pull up on the, the Cave of Wonders, bro. All right, so we are at the Valley of Despair. I'm gonna show y'all, well, first of all, let me rest. This is one of the reasons why I'm telling y'all, y'all should pull up every time y'all in a chapter, a list or a YouTube video with the secret bosses for every chapter because this shit is so well hidden. You, you're not gonna figure this out, bro. So if y'all recall, we were down here earlier. We were here earlier and we fought that rat the rat that ate his dad over here. Remember that? Now, 
there's a wall that you can break that you can't first of all there's a big ass shadow right here so you wouldn't even be looking at it like that the only thing that you get lucky on is if you're fighting a rat and he broke the wall because he can break the wall but what you're gonna do hopefully i'll make a fool out of myself i have i have on wheel of wandering white for this just for this if you look here this part looks different than the rest it has a horizontal brick that's kind of sticking out further than everything else. So we're supposed to be able to do this and break the wall. Yeah, you really follow me all the way down here, loser. All right, once we get this, this will uh, allow us to go past areas where there's a waterfall because around a couple waterfalls in chapter one and in chapter two, there's a, a, a boss fight. All right, so we grab this. Their minds yearn to ascend. Bloom scale. Yet fame still holds so you got to revisit chapter one there's a waterfall on there to fight a boss like i said so we're going to do the one on chapter two and then we're going to go back to chapter one and fight that when it's all said and done we're going to fight that bitch ass sage let me get all my all my curses out the way now Cause that, that, I was losing my mind fighting that dude. It got to the point, you stop even raging. So harsh, really. All right, so now we're gonna go back to, uh, rock rest flat, rock rest flat. And right, right behind where we're gonna be, we're gonna go up the steps and there's a waterfall. I've been seeing that waterfall earlier but it wouldn't let me go past it. So I just looked up basically how to get past it. And man, that's one way you could do it, honestly. Like, if you don't want to kind of keep having to stare out of your phone or the computer to um to get, to figure out stuff, you'll know, you'll kind of know, not every time, but a lot of times when something is stopping you from going to the next section. So just look up how to do it. Like right here. See? The item we just got is going to take us through this. Now, I don't know how to fight the boss. So I don't know his moves or nothing. Pulsing through the crowd. Let's get it. Unbound and victory. And I'm going to try to use my um, special form a little bit more because it recharges. And I didn't realize that you could use it multiple times in a fight if you last long enough anyway. Oh, so, that's what I'm going to do. Also, I free health. Long. Everybody join the fun. Shit. 
That was nice. I mean, all right. I'm just going to stun him next time he does that. I, I didn't think he would do that shit. That dude was out there on uh, FL Studio, bro. He's a bitch for that. He's a, he's a bitch for, for, for uh, making beats, bro. That was ridiculous. Did I just leave the whole area? I think I might have. I didn't mean to leave. Yeah, no, I did not mean to leave that. Pull up. That's kind of cool. I don't think I want to be over. Oh man, here you go. to change my move back to the other one. Back up. Bro. I can't, like, what's the, can I dodge? Can I dodge that instead of jumping? There's like a cool down. And I cannot jump that many times in a row. So I don't really know what to do there. This shit is nuts. I was trying to see if I could get far enough away from him. We'll figure it out. Man. Guy, something special. Be greedy. Bro. 
whatever that move is, you get you like get sucked into something. that bro I, I thought maybe I'll hit him and it, maybe if you get close enough to him he'll he'll stop I thought it was maybe one of those moves where you actually have to run up on the enemy and then hit him to get him to stop I don't really know man My um, spell got disrupted, and it counts as a, as a uh, use. Let me ask y'all a real question. When did he start doing six hit combos? When did that become part of the equation? When did that become part of the equation? Is this cheese? Oh shit, I forgot about the last one. Bro, what in the fuck? Okay, so you can. Oh. 
You can definitely. He's gonna kill me. I tried to get behind him. I could have actually. I could have. I could have beat that. I think I got him this time. I think I got him this time. He's beatable for sure. For sure. But I do think the easiest way, honestly, when he's doing that that drum shit, if there's a rock that you can stand on, then you won't take any damage. But once there's no rock, you just gotta spam the jump button, I guess. It's the only thing I could come up with. Much help there. What are you supposed to do when that and that shit lagging too? Bit, bro. That shit is dumb as fuck. Uh. to fight him away from this rock because if he gets too close to it he'll destroy it and then you can't stand on top of it that's the that's the goal blocked it. <laughs> Remember, I can't, I can't jump when I'm in this form.
now that's how you beat the shit out of Black Loon over here. So, I would suggest y'all don't call y'all uh, monkeys in for help until you dodge one time. And they're, um, you know, when you perfect dodge or when you when you dodge the, the enemy, unless he has a follow-up attack, kind of stands there for a hot second, that's a good time to call your monkey in. And then when you call your monkey in, you can go ahead and freeze them and then get some early cheap damage in. That's basically what I just did. I don't even know what that does, but uh, that unlocked this. Killer stance, which I need to buy, by the way. And I need more refined iron sand anyway. I know you guys probably wanted to see the, some of the stances, which I'll get to, but I was really focused on making sure my stats were pretty good. trying to oh oh yeah i have that okay uh mysticism okay fight or flee wait what how long these last oh that's the cooldown now this increases the duration, so we're going to get both of those. We're going to get these two now. We're going to go back. We're going to fight the chapter one extra boss, and then we'll get the more. It, it'll uh, we'll be able to upgrade the damage to the homies. Okay, wow, that's going to be super overpowered. All right, now we can get up out this section. Um, honestly, from a, a design standpoint and the way they attack, my favorite two people to fight was was this guy, and then that uh, the tiger, that first tiger. I love the way they were made. That bear was pretty cool, too. bro. They, the I don't know, man. They the way they design, um, the big boys is just fire. Like they all different too. All right, we need to go to Blackwind Mountain outside the forest. Blackwind Mountain outside the forest. Y'all should remember this from the first chapter. By the way, anybody who's watching that wanted me to continue college football, I will be coming back for a second, a second run on that. We're going to remake white chocolate and make them a, um, four or five star recruit, whatever it is, basically continue his career. Cause y'all, yeah, y'all didn't really get to see the first three seasons. Y'all really only got one season out of it. So. Must his head be hung for all to see? For what deed must the waters they govern roam free? For what deed must all matters not known out of heed? For what deed must mercy's hand so woe upon thee?
he looks so cool, bro. Too late. Oh, he got a long tail. And he's a tank. Maybe not. Holy shit. He keeps getting knocked down and stunned. Three one lead. Yep. Wow. Unbelievable, bro. I'm sick I just lost that fight. No fucking way. I ain't gonna be a hoe and edit that shit out. We got, we got the whole life, bro. Get that boy massive damage to come into the fight. Stuff. I don't like this run. Let me kill me. I should be done with this already. That tail, dude.
That's my my killing blow, What can we use for that? Reduces cooldown of all spells. More crit. This is only a slight crit chance. I might consider taking that off, but something else will. And how do I actually get out? How do we get out? I, I don't know how to get out. How do you get out? Came down a hill, right? All right. I legit forgot for a second. There we go. Lost my shit for me. All right, Wind Sage. Pulling up on you. Yellow Wind Sage. Hopefully it's a little easier. We have some upgrades and stuff. We got some new equipment. Hopefully that's gonna be enough, but I can't guarantee it will be. That guy was really something with his attacks. And that, when he disappeared, man, that shit. That wasn't cool, bro. Who are you to follow me? <laughs> out who are you Run up on your man right here Ran for the best. What? how dare you say it's good why do you have to come back <laughs> i gotta remember all these attacks because i haven't fought him in a minute <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Damn it, it got greedy. <laughs> nice, come on. Realms can withstand its power! <laughs> 
perfectly played. We want to do the same exact strategy that we just did, but I, I didn't, I didn't dodge. I didn't dodge right at the end, but I think the way we played out exactly how we want to play when he goes invisible, we go invisible Then he attacks our mimic. Damn it, bro. I feel that felt I, that was I thought we did great. I know we died, but I thought we did good. A skinny wretch like you has come far enough. <laughs> Get me with that last time.
All right. We got to try to time that little super landing, super duper thing better if we can. I always do that though. I don't know if y'all experienced that. You fight a boss for like the first time. I mean, this wasn't my very first time, but my first time today. You get really close to beating them. You're like, oh, I got it. And then like you play worse like the next four or five times for whatever reason. It's just How dare you come back? Why do you have to come back? <laughs> 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 That. You gotta dodge that. All right, I know the timing on that one for the most part. Who in all the realms will withstand its power? He can't do the. I don't think he can do the little punt finisher move when you're in this form. He can kick you with it, but he can't get the super damage out of it. I needed that damage, bro. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, I I got so greedy, bro. I did that thing. I only had to hit him like two more times. I tried to rush it and he just killed me. 
Well, the unfortunate thing though also Roche is that the wind picked me up. I didn't realize I was inside of that wind, that whirlwind thing. Um he feels beatable way more than he did yesterday or not yesterday, whatever the last time I played. Two days ago. So at this point, I just gotta execute. We did we dodged pretty well for most of those. Has come far enough. <laughs> Busy. I think that's fair. I don't get away from that. Let the wind kill. I'm
just in fucking time, guys. What is that? Let's go! Quit playing with me! Bitch! You disciple you. You stole hell and spell and snatch the great sage's relic. You even took your master's heed. Just for a short reign over this barren valley. I am Bodhisattva Lingji of New Mount Sumeru, the warden of this rat. After the great sage's passing, his six senses were scattered across the mortal realm. This thieving rat chanced upon one of them, yet hindered by his meager might, he could not absorb its power. Thus he schemed with wicked intent. A victim of his deceit, I had my hand taken by him. The sense requires such a grand container to release its power. I should bear the blame for his reign of havoc upon this ridge again. <sighs> Through your valor and sagacity, order has been restored. You are the sole worthy one to keep it. Please keep it secure in my stead.
He said, fuck that. Men, beasts, Buddhas, Yogwais. Each of them bears a distinct root from birth, superior and inferior. None should disturb what's decided. Am I right, Sun Wukong? I thought that, bro, I thought that dude was optional. He is not optional, bro. With the wind and sand you've endured here, did you reach the forgotten kingdom at the end of the land? Did you find the clash of stones and the fall of Tiger's Acolyte? If you shut your ears and heed only your inner murmur, I fear the more you yearn for flawless endings, the further you'll stray from the path. Rats and cats, neither grasped their destiny, and yet neither admitted it. Listen closely, young one. Their complaints ride upon the wind. Get to level forty. I can't go back. I missed something, man. We can go back, hopefully. Chapter three, white snow, ice cold. New scenery. I love the, um, like the claymation, um, like storytelling. They don't even need like words or anything. They used to, oh, I wish we see stuff like that a little bit more for some of the smaller games, especially if you want to tell a good story and they don't have a budget for voice acting and stuff like that. Perfect. What's up with you, bro? All right, we're just stuck down there doing that. We go ahead and I might have to take that move off. It only it does massive damage if they're in front of you, but if they're not directly in front of you, you don't you barely do anything. So AOE wise, this one is still the move. Mad Tiger's good if they're in front. Like directly in front of you, you do a lot of damage. All right, I need to get to a safe spot because I want to go back to that part on chapter two to see if I can go into the, little, the cave of wonders, bro. I'm kind of, I mean, in hindsight, I'm kind of glad I didn't um beat that 
that Sage last video because I didn't missed out on a whole bunch of stuff. Try to start jumping a little more. I know it's supposed to be a little OP. But some of y'all boys wild for y'all comments on that on that Elder Ring um video. I told y'all I was farming from the beginning. I think I'm gonna sit around this bitch and get my ass whipped for hours on end. Fuck no. Tripping. Shout out to the people that was telling me where the farm spots and all that shit was and the mimic and all that too. Y'all are glorious. Bro told me be a man to quit using my my mimic. What? What's your problem? Right, he's like, you about to fly. Do that on your own time. He said I was cheating too. That's tough to say, bro. The mechanic is in the game. It's not like I'm... Snow Hill Pad. I love snowy settings on games. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save it real quick. And then hopefully it let me go back to this last section. And it was there because it was that that right right after we fought the tiger, right? I I hope this is the right spot. If not, I will have to have a little jump cut, and I need to go look for it. What? Yeah, can we go like in here? Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah. It might not even. Okay. Originally, I thought when we came down here, we would uh, end up being at the end of the chapter. Back up. Cause it, shit, this tiger, the Vanguard tiger, he felt like he was the damn last dude. He felt like he was the last boss of this damn chapter. Is that all that's down here? No. All right, we got a we got a blue aura in, enemy over there. calling like multiple guys what is that well the white is still number one right now I 
hope I ain't just unlock a whole nother part of this goddamn world. It looks like I did. Maybe it's just a boss. Oh. No, I didn't. Cool. It just comes out over here. Hi, right, family. I'll wrap this episode up. I'm gonna fuck with y'all on part seven. Y'all amazing. Peace.